All right, folks, this is Brian from Soulful Fitness Roller Skate Training. Today is October 7, 2020, and I'm mixing up some footage all focused on the swing out full swing riff. This sequence has been consistently mandatory since the early 1990s in our training sessions. In fact, this swing out drill was conceived in the summer of 1993, according to my own notes. And funny enough, ever since its conception, it has always been very popular whenever introduced to new skaters. <laughs> In one of my previous series called Flow, Form and Function, I included a detailed snippet on the basics of the swing out technique, published in 2016 already. And as I was preparing for this edit, I did a quick search on my own channel, and to my own surprise, I already had a few other examples of the swing out and variations up there. So I'll make sure to put up all those links in the description of this video, cause they're all still worth checking out. So in general, there is a tendency to get really sloppy with this swing out technique, such as not going forward in a straight line or too much space between the skates when pivoting, which all impact the look and feel of this move and the ability to control it. So make sure to stick to the basics for a while before getting into any of the variations. So let me get into the actual sequence. It's a bilateral riff, of course. That means eight counts on each side, and each of those sides divided in two sections of four counts. The first section is comprised of two swing outs traveling forward and ending in a tap, and the second section involves stepping back to starting position. Now let me count along, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Swing out, swing out, tap, step, 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 and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Swing out, swing out, tap, step, 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 and back. The transitions in this riff have a very positive impact on developing your own flow. And that goes for the continuous transfer of weight as well. I've been seeing the awesome results of practicing this riff for over more than 25 years now. And that's the reason why I kept it in exactly the same way as I conceived it. So make sure to check out that detailed swing out snippet from the flow form and function series that I mentioned before. It will really get you a long way and helps you to avoid sloppy tendencies and it definitely cuts your time to grow your flow. Thank you for watching, please stay safe, make it funky and catch you on the next one.